What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with another episode of East versus West, week to week, uh, back to back. Because when I released the last East versus West, which should have gotten released weeks ago, um, they happened just to drop a HHN maze announcement, and that is Stranger Things season two and three going to be in one maze. We're going to talk a little bit about both parks of how what we expect in the maze and everything. And then we're going to talk a little bit about some news at Hollywood's end. And yeah, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Madhouse. <laughs> what down my boat? All right, Eddie. So we got um, Stranger Things announced today. Seasons they're going to be doing seasons two and three, from what I've heard. And we also got an opening day announcement uh, release date for HHN Hollywood, which we are going to be going a little a week later than you guys. So we're going to start September thirteenth. That's Friday the thirteenth. Yep. Um, what are your thoughts of this maze coming into this? So first and foremost, I, I just want to drop the fact that. We all knew it was coming. There was no, no uh, mystery here whether or not Stranger Things was returning. Um, we needed an announcement to confirm it, but everybody was pretty sure that it was coming. So um, I wasn't surprised that it came. And even though I knew it was coming, after watching that trailer, I was excited. So um, that, that was cool because I, I, I didn't expect myself to be too excited over this maze because everybody had already predicted that it was going to come. It was like a 99% chance that it was coming back from its success last year. Uh, but once again, they, they dropped that awesome trailer. They put so much effort into that Stranger Things trailer, and I keep on hoping that they do the same for the rest. So I'm excited to see this one. I keep on he hearing everybody say that it's going to be season two and three, which is cool because three is coming out soon. Um... I, I think um, I expected them to do one and two or just two and then save three for next year. So that kind of throws me for a loop. I'm wondering, um, I was thinking that this would be like a staple for the next three years. So, you know, if they're doing two and three, you know, what what's left for next year or are they not even expecting to bring it back next year? Yeah, especially because Stranger Things like waits about a year just to bring up like another season. So it's like we're getting a season every other year. And I think it has something to do with just to wait for the kids to get a little bit older because they do time jump in the seasons where the first season took place in 1983, second season took place in 1985, and this one's doing another time jump, I think, in 1986, 1987. So it's like, I think they do that on purpose just so they can have the kids age a little bit. But I am curious to see, there's a lot of things I want to see from season two into this maze. Now, the big focus in season two was uh, was Will because uh, Will had just gotten back from the Upside Down, but we realize he's not the same person. He uh, has a lot of like P PSD from... Um, PTSD. PTSD. Yeah, PTSD from, uh, from the Upside Down, and he's not the same Will. Um, one of the scenes that I, I really want to see in the maze was uh, the scene where they where they're in the arcade, uh, and it turns into the upside down real quick, and he like he sees like the the shadow uh, demon and all that, or what was it? The shadow? I don't remember what it was called. Demogorgon. It was it was like a demogorgon, but it was like a shadow one. Remember, it was like a giant monster, and it, was, it actually possessed Will. I might have to rewatch to to remember that exactly, but they showed it in the in the trailer <clears> this morning. <throat> like you see it real quick when it flashes red. He's in the sky just walking around, but he's like he's supposed to be. A oh yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. Uh, and that that thing looks vicious. That that whole trailer. Uh, it's so good. Like, why can't they do that with all the announcements? That would be an amazing year, right? Um. um but there's a lot of things I want to demo dogs. I don't know how they're going to pull that off, but I'm I'm curious to see how that's going to get pulled off. Yeah, and uh, funny enough, um, I, I don't know if you follow Johnny Bronto from Hot Scene. He posted that if there's not some type of like food item called like demo hot dogs or something like that, demo dog hot dogs, it's going to be a, a missed opportunity, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, they, they <laughs> usually try to uh, kind of. Uh, 
jump on those two for food ideas because that was uh, one of the things over here in Hollywood last year was we got Benny's Burgers. Um, yeah. And that was like a little stand they set up and stuff. But nonetheless, we have that uh, coming our way. Um, also, uh, just a little side note, HHN Hollywood, like I said, is starting on Friday the 13th. Um, that's a one week later than what you guys are getting. So it makes me wonder. Uh, I know you guys get more mazes and stuff like that, but are they doing it because they know they're going to have a huge lineup in Orlando on top of original properties? Like, is that are they expecting numbers to to sell out more than they did last year with this year's lineup? Is that why they gave you guys an extended week? Um, I think that has to do a lot with it because last year is the first year that I've actually seen so many consecutive days sell out back to back to back. Um, I, they always warn of night selling out, and I've never actually seen it happen. Last year, we actually saw it happen. Um, so with Stranger Things returning, I think adding more days so they could kind of you know thin out the crowds, that's the the thought behind it. But will it work? Yeah. <laughs> they, they did so well last year that I, I don't know if that would necessarily work. On top of that, we have 10 houses confirmed. So there's going to be a ton of houses. Every inch of the park is going to be used up. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that right now. I just nearly fell and ate shit on my own chair right now. But, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's why I was laughing. But anyway, uh, yeah, because I was thinking the same thing with us. We usually start like the last week or two of September, but now they're moving it to like mid-September. So that's about a month and a half uh, of, of Halloween Horror Nights uh, compared to like a month and a week. But – um. Yeah. I. I. Because the same thing over here. Stranger Things every night or the nights I went was like a three plus hour w uh, wait time. Um. On top of that, over here when the new Stranger Things opens up, we're gonna be having the new, of course, the new Jurassic World ride open up. So it's like gonna be kind of like you know if people are gonna go to the event, they're also gonna probably want to get on that ride as well. So I'm assuming they're doing that just to promote both kind of properties as of right now. Um, that'd be a kind of good way to do it. I know in the past, Universal uh, Studios Hollywood was famous for doing Jurassic Park in the dark. I don't know if they would change that for Jurassic World, even though that a lot of the construction I've seen for that ride is looks like it's mostly indoors now. They've like domed over a lot of parts, and they're probably going to use a lot of screens and stuff. But I, I, I would think that's a reason, another reason why they're adding more days as far as our end goes, because you know you got of course like this this ride that's opening up this year. That's a way to promote that. But of course, you got Stranger Things, which is getting three plus hours of uh, line wait times and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see what happens. But um, Stranger Things, uh, another thing I want to see in the maze too was in the in the last trailer that we got for season three, we saw this like new kind of Demogorgon looking creature that kind of reminded me, and I don't know, I mean, this is just me because I'm a huge fan of this movie, but it reminded me of, of The Thing from John Carpenter's The Thing. The way it looked, it kind of looked like The Thing. Yeah. I mean, and all, all of them kind of have that, you know, that shape-shifting alien type of look to them. Even the Demogorgon with his face opening up. So, yeah, I can see where we're coming at with that. Uh, one thing I'm wondering is um, how they're going to actually do the Demodogs. Because, um, obviously, a, a dog form is hard for an individual to pull, pull off. Um, they're probably going to be resorting to going to, like, a, what's it called? Um, the, like, a... American Werewolf in Paris or American Werewolf in London. London yeah. Um, how they use like those, those kind of dolls. Yeah. yeah. Um, that could be pretty cool. They, yeah, I, I could see that being pretty cool, but I wonder how, how that's going to look. That's going to be interesting. My, yeah, so then when, it's funny that you're bringing it up because my whole thing would be like, well, if they're going to do a puppet much like that, are, are they going to make it so when it pops out, the mouth opens up? Or is it going to be that when it pops out, the mouth's already open? Like what's going what's gonna to happen with that? Because – Personally, I think it would be a lot scarier if, uh, as a puppet, it popped out and the mouth opens up compared to the mouth already being open. I mean, yeah, it would still be scary, but at the same time, I just want to see the effect of the mouth opening up, which would be a lot cooler for me. Yeah, I don't want it to be just like uh, American Werewolf in London where it's just like a puppet popping out at you. I want the, pu the puppeteering to be advanced, so um, it almost doesn't look like it's puppeteering or – Put a, a human in it and have them train on, on how to act like a demodog. That would be awesome. I, I want it to, to look more than just like a puppet. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to point out was the two trailers that we got. Now, last year, the trailer that we got for Stranger Things, that took place right in front of Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, if you guys noticed this year, 
the trailer takes place in front of Universal Studios Orlando. That's their globe that they used um, compared to our globe because our globe is just kind of silver and our lettering is different. Your globe has the blue uh, earth with the uh, glow-in-the-dark letters. I think that's kind of cool now that they're kind of switching off as to what parks they use to uh, promote the thing. Um, last year, like I said, was Hollywood because um, you could tell with the big archway and I could see the entrance and everything. And that trailer was fantastic. And this one was pretty cool, too. They took a scene from season two of the sheriff walking through the caves. And then they did the upside down flip again. And it's it, it's he's right under Universal Studios Orlando, which I thought was fucking badass. Um, they took their time again to do this trailer. Uh, what are your thoughts on this trailer? Man, it was impressive. And I was impressed with last year's trailer. Honestly, it set the tone for last year's announcements. And then the rest of the, the announcements didn't really live up to it. Yeah. So I'm hoping this time around, hopefully other people complain about it, uh, complain about it too. Um, they're setting the tone for the announcements and continuing this same exact style of announcing properties because that would be amazing if every single property or at least all of the IPs got a very tailored trailer. Yeah. That would be awesome. Like, yeah, definitely. Imagine if they if they like one of the speculated houses is Halloween 2018 Halloween, right? Yeah. Imagine if they like had like Lori running into into the front arches with Michael slowly like walking after her. Yeah. In Universal. You know, something like that. I I mean, I'm just shooting something out there, but if every single house that was at least the IP houses had a very tailored trailer, that would probably be like the best announcement season we've ever seen. Yeah, uh, and that was the thing about last year's is they spent all the money pretty much and all the focus on Stranger Things, and then like when it came down to the other trailers, they were just like, "Yeah, here they are, here they are." It's like, okay, yeah. well, we know what we got, but you know, the trailer was just whatever's. But yeah, I, I totally agree with you. They 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 should probably start taking the time more to. Uh, make trailers more like that because uh, I mean when they get announced yeah I do get excited but I think I'd get 10 times more excited if all the trailers were like that hell yeah because it's like all the all the uh, you know it's like all the characters that they're using for the mazes this year are kind of running into Universal Studios one at a time they're getting their house ready and stuff and then you got to walk through that nightmare which I think is an interesting kind of tale to tell uh, to get people pumped um but nonetheless, we're just going to get to that final verdict because I don't, I don't think there's really much to talk about, really. There was, you know, we just had, of course, um, the, the one maze announcement. Um, of course, something new for Hollywood side is we got the first official opening date. Um, and I think the other thing I want to talk about is the fact going into Monster Palooza now over here on the West Coast, uh, John Murdy and Chris Williams will be having a panel on Sunday at Monster Palooza. I'm going to try to attend. Um, so I want to want I want to know what we're gonna see in that presentation. Maybe a scare zone might be announced, or he'll probably uh, elaborate more on the Stranger Things maze as to what we might see concept wise, what they're working on sculpts. Maybe I don't know if it's too early for sculpts, but I know last year I watched a video and the Stranger Things sculpt took like a long time to make. So I wouldn't be I wouldn't doubt it that they're starting to make it right now. Yeah, um, I, I feel like. Last year around this time for Monster Palooza, I don't know if an announcement had already been made, but you guys got an announcement at Monster Palooza, the Holidays of Hell, didn't, didn't you? The Scare Zone, yeah, and we already had yeah. Stranger Things, so I think they, they yeah, we might get something new, hopefully, um, maybe another uh, original Scare Zone, we'll see what's up. Yeah, yeah, I, I wish I could go, that'd be awesome, it's like three weeks away, right? Yeah, it's in April, um, I forget the dates, I think it's at the end of April, maybe, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. Uh, of course, you got that panel on Sunday, and if you're going to be there Saturday, the amazing Bruce Campbell is going to be there signing autographs, taking pictures, so that's going to be cool. Awesome. All right, yeah. well, well, you got anything else to say? What's up? No, man. Uh, it's kind of like just putting everything out there, but yeah, Stranger Things is coming, guys. Um, got announced today. We got announcement season is live and ready. We survived. We made it. We're alive for the first announcement. Countdown now, begins. See. Yep. It, it only means that now it's going to be like on a monthly and then probably going to change to like a bi-weekly basis. So it's only going to get sooner. And yeah. it, this is the the exciting time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, man. I'm going to look forward to it again. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are not subscribed to Eddie Tayment's channel... Go subscribe now. It's a must. He's gonna keep you updated. Everything in uh, the west or the west coast. I'm west coast. He's gonna keep you everything updated. Everything in the east coast. 
Um, uh, so yeah, go subscribe to him. Follow him on his social media. He keep you up to date of what's going on and stuff like that. I'm the Knights of Horror Anthony. You know where to find me on Twitter and Instagram. Knights of Horror at the Knights of Horror. Be sure to subscribe, like I said, to both channels. And that will do it for today. Thank you for watching another episode of East vs. West. And we will see you guys next time. Deuces.